Say, I'm, I'm not gonna say it much until you know, like last week, there's just a question of getting your eye in first. Yeah, just get your eye in, get used to the ball coming out of nowhere. Yeah, because it isn't, it's weird because you don't have this action to build up. Yeah, so at the moment, you are already in your front foot. Remember your stance, remember your stance. You're gonna need your stance because you can't be on the front foot, otherwise, they're gonna send you a bouncer. If you're already, see, already you're setting up on the front foot with your toes open. So remember, you set up with your toes closed, then you open, yeah? Because if you open already, they think you're gonna come down and show, if it's comfortable for you, try it, but I wouldn't suggest it straight out. But again, these are settings you gotta do with what's comfortable for you. So I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Yeah, just get into it, just get into it. You've got a base going, you've got your hands going, then I can offer you advice after that. Right now, just bat on ball, bat on ball. Just get used to it. Remember, we've got a whole hour on this machine, then I can have a look at your setup. Nice, good connection. Yeah, that must feel nice. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So you need that feeling first. Good. Not there, is it? Yeah, bat on ball. That's all I want for the first bucket, bat on ball. Good. Better base. Starting to find your way. Shot. It's good bat on ball, bat on ball. Like I say, just, if I can teach you a bunch of stuff, Without you being able to get bat and ball, it's not going to go in. Right now, bat and ball is the first key. Yeah? Just being able to get used to facing this machine. Because in the time, in the time that um, we did bowling last week, you, you faced two, three more deliveries. So right now, it's repetitions today. Just getting used to this machine. Shot! It's so, alright, keep, keep, keep still as long as possible. Don't move around too much. If your head moves, your eyes have to recalculate, send another signal back to the brain, to your hands. It all takes hundredth of a second longer. Yeah, so stay still as long as possible. Better. See how you play the shot, don't overhit it. Yeah? Ask it what you want from uh, the usual. Two. Yeah. Have you already got I was going to say. <laughs> what what is is you? Do you need money now? Yeah, come on. Let's yeah. One second, lads. Is he just in any? Oh, yeah, yeah. She just kept that sludge in general, isn't it? Yeah. You were like, no, I didn't have a lot of questions, bro. Did you have it? Why did I have it? 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Oh, 11 o'clock. That's what yeah, I'm going to do. Why the fuck am I doing? <laughs> you know what I call that? Breakfast for champions, man. You know what I call that? What? Fucking wankers. <laughs> I love you, Ak. Just for you then, Ak. Stay down, stay down. Remember, yes, you're enjoying it, but this is this can turn into a drug addiction. Does that make sense? Yeah? Just for one, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, Move that ball away, we don't want you getting a broken ankle.
So I don't overheat it every time. Yeah, because you've not just come out of the jungle, you've got, you're not just primitive, ain't it? You've got to grow a bit of intelligence now. Because you've got skill, but you've got to take responsibility for your skill. I'm not trying to sound like your dad either. I'm talking science. Do you know what I mean? Better, better. You're trying to control your hands because move that ball from behind you. Uh, because the more you do this, the risk of the shot goes up. The way, if you play it, you're more likely to get to 30, 50, 75, all these different targets. But at the moment, you're playing a high risk game. Does that make sense? I'm sure you want the big 50 in it. Yeah? So you're going to have to start managing your hands now. Now you've got your eye in. I'm not asking you to sort your feet out right now. Just your hands. Manage them a bit better. Better! You see, boy? Take responsibility for your skill set. Yeah? And what you'll find that it's meditative. You're in that moment, you feel clear. You know when you pray, same thing like clear, clarity. Next one, that's just a good ball, moved away. Yeah? And you're still offering too much of this instead of just a small tap. Your bat is really good, it's got a bloody good middle. And if you misconnect when you do that big hit, you're going to break it. Next one, don't think too much about it. Then I've scared you about breaking your back, that's what happens, so don't think too much. Nice. Stand on leg stump, just so I can see your reactions. So, that way. There, stand there, I want to have a look if you can protect your stumps. I think you can. Don't worry about getting out, I know you've got good hands, I'm testing something. Yeah, keep going, just get used to standing there, that's called leg stump guard. See, you need room to operate. I know what type of player you're like, Jack Callis. See, you can already hit the ball off middle stump. That's a middle stump Yorker, and you still hit it. We can refine that. Right now, I'm trying to find your essence. Who are you? What is your natural ability? Nice, keep your head down longer, bend the knees. What I mean by that, oh yeah. So you was here, instead be here. Yeah, remember what we said about fighting? You don't fight up here, you fight here. Bam, bam. Yeah, that's the difference. Bend your knees. Start doing your yoga all week. You, what you get out is what you put in. So it's the good ball. Next one. Eyes on it. Next one, you're trying to overhit it. If you want to go back onto the stumps, feel free. Next one, don't overhit it. Just try and bat on ball. Use the mantra now, bat on ball, bat on ball. Not six, not ah, I want to hit it as hard as I can. Looking for bat on ball. Because when you play the game for your team, they need you to get bat on ball. Yes, sir. This is what this game is about. Your body follows your mind. Have a plan. Good, I don't mind that. See, you're looking to learn your hands now rather than just coming in and pressing lucky dip. Yeah? Next one. You can stand on the stumps for the last few. Yeah, perfect middle stump guard. Okay, so you've got to figure out what's more comfortable, leg stump or middle stump. Got good connection. Last two. In fact, it's last. Still, last five. Shot. Top shot. Top shot. Lovely hands, clean hands. Hardest shot in the game. You all right? Yeah. Come on in, let's go again. You look shocked. Next one, let the ball come to you. Watch the ball pitching. Let the ball bounce. That's what I mean when I say let it pitch. Shot. See if you watch the pitch of the ball. Best thing. I should wear it when the ball bounces. Yes! Always! You've got to let the ball pitch. Watch the pitch of the ball. Most important. Next one. That's just a good ball. So don't open up your stumps trying to hit it. Respect the straight one. Just tap the straight one. Yes. Do you understand? Then you start to learn to judge a good ball from a bad ball. And then alternatively, once you get better, it's not a question of just a bad ball. You'll have a scoring zone. So if it's in your scoring zone... Shot! I like your little rocking. 
To start, that was good. Okay, watch the adrenaline. Shot! Good, mate. You're starting to make pro. So that's a good start from you. You got your feet activated pre feed. It's good. Nice, nice. Not bad, not bad. Just get yourself in. Look, you're getting bottom ball pretty quickly. It's good. The moment I still don't want you overbalancing onto your toes. So you get that, that going, but make sure your feet are firm on the ground. Next one, that's just a bit harder to get to because it's wider of the stumps. That's where they will bowl to a plan. But right now I won't worry too much about it. Stand on middle stump for you, because you, you are on a different lesson plan. There, that's why I say for you stand on middle stump. Because right now you're playing quite technically, which is great. So then you're on a slightly different lesson plan. Next one, it's just the adrenaline. And also when the ball's further up to you, you think you can hit it because it's there, but then it just goes away. So now, watch that bounce of the ball, the pitch of the ball. All the way, keep your head down to the pitch of the ball. Yeah, see that? You've got to keep your head always down, always pointing at the pitch of the ball, at the bounce of the ball, always. Better. Relax your hands as well, yeah? There, see by relaxing your hands, you have ultimate control. Yeah? Nice, that's all right. See how you're getting into a straight bat, that's fine. It's just you'll learn to judge the bounce when it's coming up here, up here, or here. That you'll judge over time. Bat and ball was the main thing for this bucket, which you're achieving, and you're also showing technical understanding. Nice, next goal, keep going, keep going, watch that picture of that ball. See that one bounced a bit? So what you've got to do is make sure you don't play out in front of, because what happens, you can't get your head over it. You, can, you have to play the ball right next to your body here, so you can get your head over it, and the ball goes to the ground. So watch, even if the ball comes up to my head, I can still go bang. Does that make sense? This is yeah. your best form of protection. It's your shield and it's your sword. Two in one. Know how to use it for both. Yes! Hold it longer. This is yoga, babe. Doesn't matter what country you're from, yoga is yoga. <laughs> nice, but you're reaching. Let the ball come to you, relax. That's what you're going to tell yourself in that situation. If you ever find yourself reaching, Move that ball, please, just for safety. Thank you. Nice! See, now he's starting to jump the different bounces. Yep. And then present that and let the ball come to you, never reaching. If you reach, you're out because you can't get your head over the ball. The only way you can get your head over that ball is by letting the ball come to you. Chin, knee, toe. Chin, knee, toe. All together. Bending that knee. Nice. But you're still reaching just a little bit and your hands are a little bit too much tension in them. They have to be hands of a surgeon. Pretend you're writing a book, mate. That's how you, you, hold, a, you hold that bottom hand like you're holding a pen. Alright? Top hand is where the power comes from. Yes, sir! Do you get this, didn't you? You're a very, very quick learner. Good, that's all right. Just gotta get used to the one that bounces, it's fine. That, that's everybody's nemesis. Yeah, over time you'll figure it out. I'm gonna bank on that and you can move it on the next one. Okay. Shot, not bad, you can move it now. Good bat on ball from you. Shot, shot, you're gonna enjoy watching yourself back, man. Really good. Next time, so you can see. Come on, come down here, lad. Just come down here, Abdul. There's a markings on the floor that what Tarjan's done. These are for the kids. This is your area of operation. Okay. So if you notice, what you're doing is you're standing here. Yeah. And you don't go outside of this. 
What I'd say is stay a couple of centimetres inside of this. Does that make sense? Yeah. So then that way, if you overstride, remember my head's not, I can't get my head over there. Just remember that's why we do yoga, to get into a better position where we can go further, but keeping that back foot down. At the moment, we've got balance issues, that's why we do the stretches. So now, you guys play within this area. Does that make sense? Stay in that area, don't go outside of it. Okay, and then you just play, make sure the back doesn't even go outside of it. But you go slightly different because you might be in the middle of that. I don't want to take that away. Neither is right or wrong because in the team, the advice is to play technically, and you need a guy who can go when, the, when, when your run rate is down, you send somebody like yourself to catch up with the run rate. Does that make sense? I'm not saying you've always been about that, but today what I'm seeing from you is your ability to get involved. And his, his technical understanding is what I'm seeing. But you can learn from his technical understanding because I used to be the same type of player as you. I'll just hit a ball. I'm a competition player. I'll play five over games. I used to. Do you know what I mean? Like the tournaments on a Sunday, five over games, uh, six aside. Do you know what I mean? I stand like this, like but like just crazy. Not even technical. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it, different styles for different situations. Yeah. So what you'll find, you can still learn technicality here from him. Mm -hmm. So the guy I used to train with, Kurum Mirza, he just loved being technical. He would stay there and go, oh, 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 oh like oh, Ali. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Classical. Yeah. So it's we learn different things, but no, they're styles. Neither is right or wrong. They're yeah. just styles, applications of batting. Yeah. yeah. Is it still recording? Yeah. Excellent. Nice, nice. I still want you to be a bit more stiller in your, you know when you're, as at the moment it feels like you're doing this. I yeah. want you to just rock and then make sure you're still. Yeah? Nice. Just uh, let it come to you. Your hands have gone out again. Let it come to you and then get your feet closer to the ball. Yes, better. See that your feet? Your feet should take you closer to the ball and put letting the ball come to you. I know it sounds like a, a paradoxical thing, but it's not. That's just a, that one that bounces. So you've got to judge when it bounces closer to me, it's going to bounce more up to you. When it's closer to you, it will be less bounce. Yes, so you're starting to read bounce. Yeah? Once you read bounce, we can bring that cut shot in after. Okay? If you're comfortable doing your shuffle, it's okay, because at the moment it slowed you down without it. Because Steve Smith sets up real strange. He's at the top of the world, mate. So I'm not going to, because I, I don't like to stop things or stop your function. I like to bring in technicalities, but if it stops, if technicalities stop your function, you can carry on with your shuffle. See, because it's working for you right now, just to be able to stimulate your body enough to get into a good position. So hence me not being a technical freak. That's a leave. That's a technical point you should learn. Yeah, because the one that, remember the circle, that semicircle, that ball was outside of there, wasn't it? Yeah. Leave the fucker alone. That's like a chick with STIs. <laughs> yeah? Don't touch him, mate. Good, good. Yeah? Good, mate. Look at the ball bounce, and you managed to get it back down for potentially a one. It's good hands, very good hands. Okay, that was adrenaline still left over from your last shot. So part of batting is knowing it's a bit like I said, like a drug. Right now, you hit one and you're like, ah, oh, you might not do Shara, but if you do, you'll know that too much is no good. So have that little shot, but calm yourself and then move on to the next one. Okay, because it's, it's, it's like, like garam going through our blood, but we have to stay calm to get to 100. Probably why I haven't got to 100. <laughs> So right, just reaching. Did you see the way the bat came out in front of yeah. the bat? That's all it was. So part of independent learning, you'll be able to recognize it and tell yourself. Next one, your feet weren't moving. So make sure you're always leaning forward over that front knee. Yes. Remember what, what foot we said we're fighting off? Always. Yes, sir. So you always bend through the front foot. It doesn't have to be a big bend but enough then to make sure you're not going to end up on the canvas. Last three. 
Yes, sir. See that? Now you're looking like a fighter. Might have to pull out some Tekken moves. A bit of X, couple of squares, a bit of now one. Might have a special move here, mate. Nice. Tidy. Hold it longer. Don't run away from your shot. Why I say it is when there's a collapse and a guy like you comes in and defends, they're all thinking, yeah, we're going home for early, early tea or whatever it is. Yeah. And then you come in and play 20 overs out. I had to do it on Saturday. Do you know what I mean? They shut the fuck up as soon as you defend and stay there. Defend and stay there. They just shut up. Because they're tired. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, bro. Well, I will do soon. You let me know when it is. And hopefully if I'm available, I'll come and watch. Good. Good. Very good from you. Okay. Let's collect. That goes quick. Come on, evolution. It's just a series of adaptations on the last. It's cosmic intelligence driving us to be better. Good, looking to control your hands there. Good, now let the ball come to you a bit more. Still reaching. Yes! Oh, fuck yeah. That was a shot, boy. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Good timing. So just making sure on the straight one that your back can come through straight. Shall I just show you one thing that I showed Alan in last week that I think you remembered it. I think you could do it remembering it a little bit more because most of your shots have come through the bottom and the top end. The one you just timed the shit out of there, you went, that was the What you did that time was you relaxed it. So at the moment, what you've got to do, see this, see the way you're going like this, the palm should never touch on the straight one, the palm, see this palm, doesn't touch there. If it does, naturally you track across. Feel it. So to play the ball straight, clean, like this, see the way my back comes through. Look, it's like this. So see this, this is the steering wheel. And then slowly you'll steer it. And then later on, for the full shot, you do the bottom hand. There, then you do the bottom hand and cut shot. Then the cut shot, you tighten. But the drive, the drive, look. See, see the way I'm just placing like a pen. Next one, just get into the flow, relax, don't have anything on your mind because it costs you time. Bat on ball is still with here again. Yes, see? So the technical stuff will come. Yeah, but don't force it. Yeah? Your plant will grow at its own speed. Nice control, just a bit of reaching. So let the ball come and then you can get closer to it. Good shot though. Yeah, right shot type. It's not bad. Well, did you want that to go up or not? No. Okay, so then you've got to remember, see your back face, letting the ball come to you because you're still taking the ball here. Be brave and let the ball come close to you. So now you've got to say waiting, waiting, waiting. Find a mantra, you know, a mantra that works for you to get yourself waiting longer. You know, earlier on you said, should I let it bounce? Yes, sir. That is the most important. Ricky Ponting, who's one of the best in the world, he used to find where the ball bounces, a rough area, know where it is, and then play the shots from the look on the pitch. So you're lucky you've got markings on the floor, and it'll take time, don't look at the markings, but know roughly where they are. It's good hand management, at least you're not trying to overhit it, that's okay, but on ball, you've got to always work with the positives. Good, I don't mind that, now get lower, bend your knees. Not bad, you're bending your knees more. Let the ball come to you, because you're still reaching for the ball. If you want the ball to go along the ground, technically, you're gonna have to wait and let the ball come right under your, under your eyes. So the ball comes, take it under here. Doesn't matter if you get out, but see how long you can wait. That's your challenge. See that? How long you can wait. There's all the time in the world. Time is an illusion, my friend. That's why the matrix is the matrix. Good, don't overhit it. And making sure, what I do want from you, I think, at the moment, you look unstable, so you need to widen this gap on your stance. 
Well, reason why I say you don't fight like this, do you? You fight with a wide stance, yeah? So nobody can get you down. Same concept here, because if I come down there and start pushing you around, I don't want you to fall out of that position. So find a position, because I'm going to come and do the test otherwise, because you're looking a bit like a little shaky in your base. Next one, that's just a good ball. You'll just learn to judge that line and length as time goes on. Stand on middle stump for now. Thank you. That's good, that's all right, but you're still playing it too early. So just remember, if you, the ball goes in the air, you played it too early. If it's got past you, you played it too late, that's the obvious one. But you've got to find the balance. Play late is what they say. Move early, play late, okay? Nice, but you played late. See that playing late? Yeah. But you didn't move early because there was no movement from you. So you know why like he's got his little shuffle, he's got his little thing going on. Yeah, yeah you've got to find something to activate your whole fucking body. Because at the moment, your hands are brilliant, but at some point, the ball is going to find an area where you have to move to. Yeah? yeah? It's not bad. Overhitting, relax. Find that wide base, stay low, bend your knees. Bend your knees a bit more in that stance, there. See that? Because you can see, woo! All the men getting checked out, matrix style. See, because if you're up here, you can't see through the ball. You can't see how much it's coming up and down. You can only see it coming up. So if you're low, you, you, what you do is you rise with it and then hit, rather than going up to down to up. Do you know what I mean? Just stay low. Fighters don't fight up here, bro. You've got to get used to going here. I'm going to keep going on about it, then I'm going to chuck you in the UFC if you don't listen. Too early, next one, base was good, base was good, knees were bent. Too early, wait, 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 so I'm going to keep saying it. Wait, 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 yeah! you got to be the, come on, I'm going to coach you through it even if I have to be your mind for now. Come on son. So wait, yeah, waiting, 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 yeah! It's fine, no difference between you and my kids then. Coach you through it. Waiting, yeah? So just waiting, waiting, waiting. Shut! See the timing? By your heart must be beating. Okay, waiting, yeah? I'm going to stop calling it now. You start taking over on the waiting, yeah? Use the mantra in your head. Come on, son. You can do this. You've got this. Yeah, just wait and move, yeah? Yes, better, good. Okay, let's go back to waiting. Waiting still, waiting still. All the way through. Waiting, waiting. Shot, that's better. Now bending the knees. Waiting and bending the knees. Head down. Waiting, waiting. Shot, that's good. It's fine, I'll be your mantra for now. Yeah, just waiting on that ball. Keep your knees bent, head down. Next one, you did everything, just try to overhit it. Yeah, so stroking it. They, they don't call it whack play. You gotta listen to the kind of commentary in it. They go, oh, how do I stroke play? Not whack play. You know what I mean? Stroke play, buddy. Stroke it, stroke it. Next one, keep your head down. You were on your back foot. You were like this instead of. So, weight forwards. Better, they're waiting. And then even if you need to start looking at building a defense shot, if the ball bounces, you're gonna have to recognize it and defend it. And that one you can hit, because that one comes naturally to you. So that's now your scoring zone. But the one back of a length, you need to recognize it and respect it. That's the one you'll get out to. You gotta know what's a good ball to you. Next one, just uh, easy to get for your eyes to light up. So waiting, waiting, shot boy, shot. And you're building a back foot base now. See, that it, we've got to make sure when you play it, the back foot doesn't come out. So you only got half a shot if it comes out. You try to push a car, try to push a car with one foot, it's shit, believe me. So make sure you keep both feet down. Next one, don't overhit it. Come on, you're not a caveman. You've got a beautiful back there. Yes, see that? You don't need to whack it, do you? Then you'll start to realize, this is what I keep saying, this is where you're gonna find your shanty, boys. You know what I mean? Got him, Mr. Technical. Show us your technicalities. I'm gonna keep an eye on the top. No, in fact, I think we can definitely get two buckets in here. So we've got 20 minutes left. 
Is that recording? Yeah. Excellent. Nice. Widen your base a bit if you can. Widen, yeah. yeah, widen the gap between your feet on the base. See that? You just remember, you don't want to be just upright. The wider the base, the more center of gravity you have, yeah. the better balance you'll have overall. Nice. You're starting to make that diamond look good, boy. Next one, just recognize the different lines as part of your referencing. That will take place over time, so you can't be rushed. Good. You, my friend, are gonna enjoy, like I say, watching your own technicalities back. Nice, stay in that zone. Hold the shot longer, so I can tell if you're balanced or not. If you're not balanced, it means don't stride as far. Keep that width in between your base, and then just play from your base and then start building the strike. Next one, that's just a good ball. Yeah, that's all right. Nice! Good, mate, really good. This is your base. I'm not worried about how big that stride is right now and how pretty it needs to look. That is very functional. Good! Jesus. That's very good. Just your back foot came out, so you've got to get you doing those yoga every day, bro. And you'll be able to impress the ladies. If you've got kids, you can impress them. It's just impress everybody with it. Next one, so that one, your bottom hand got tight. Yeah, even though the ball comes up here, relax your hands and bang. See that bottom hand is light, yeah? Nice. But what I want is hold there. That is your shield, yeah? Because your bottom hand was still trying to take you across there, so you've still got to relax it that bit more. Not bad, it's just a tighter line. You'll get used to that. I've got to teach you square of the wicket yet. Okay, I'm going to try and pitch it up a bit more. The machine's just falling back of the leg. Nice, good stride. Next one, nice and relaxed. Yeah, remember it's not how hard you hit it, it's just finding that middle of the bat. Good, see the difference there? Yeah. It's just tapping it, stroke play. That's why they call it stroke play, mate. Next one. Shot! Best shot of the day, mate. Shot again. Excellent, Alamin. Next one, just keep learning. Yeah, it was just a decent length. It was slightly backward of what you expected. So now let the ball come to you. It's adrenaline getting into it because you're chasing that shot now, aren't you? Yeah. Don't premeditate it. Let it happen. Better, better. Yeah, don't force this. Like we say, you can't force success. You can't force love. Yes! With respect, both of the two that I just said will come. Yeah? Yeah. Next one, it's just a good ball. That's why they call it the corridor of uncertainty. You know, fourth and fifth stump, the ones that are invisible next to half stump. Yeah. There's a, two more stumps invisible there, and that's a corridor of uncertainty. You'll learn to move into that and move your feet. Better, better. But let the ball come to you a bit more. Let the ball come to you because you're still reaching. That's why the ball went up. Be brave to let the ball come and get behind your back. Get behind your... Remember, it's your shield. Yes, sir. Yeah? And if you feel uncomfortable there, stand on leg stump. Stand on leg stump and then your back can come through middle stump. So a bit more that way. Just tiny... Line, line up your toes with the leg stump. Yeah. That's how to take the leg stump guard. See how much more clear room you have. Yeah? Because yeah? don't forget, if the ball's middle stump, your bat's having to come round your pads. So they teach middle stump guard, I think it's a bit stupid, but we do it because maybe when you're learning, you need to get your pads in the way. But I think if you're learning, just learn to let, just, you'll get bold a few times, but at some point you're going to figure out how to hit it. Yeah. And then after that, you won't forget. You can leave middle stump open all you like. They play baseball and the plate is always open, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? You know the, the little plate yeah. where they go, strike one. 
They leave that open. Have faith. So move back a bit. Legs on guard. Yeah. Next one. Your feet went frozen, so don't forget you're rocking and leaning. Better, but you're overstriding. Watch. I think you need to wait a bit longer. Adrenaline's still running through you. I can feel it because you're very eager. Relax. Say waiting, 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 waiting. See that? How close to your body you played it. Yeah? That, and it shows you the closer you played it. You only tapped it, but it went. Yeah? Better. See how close to your body you can play this. This is the, this is the game for samurais. Because it feels like, why should I play so close to my body? But that's the way you get ball control. Look at Ronaldo, Messi. Are they doing it from over there? No. Do you know what I mean? They're doing it right under their fucking nose. Next one, still reaching. Just a good ball. You've got to recognize the one up at the stumps. And I said at some point you will get bowled by leaving your stumps open, but you've got to go through that hardship to get through to the point where one day nothing will get through. Only a good, good, good ball. But be brave. Take leg stump guard again. That's why, because the one on middle stump you were struggling to access, wasn't you? So I want your back to come through, our middle stump clean. That's why, yeah, you'll get bowled a few times. Different conversations then. Shot. See the way your bottom hand still tried to go there? Relax it a bit more and try and do that, that arc. See that with your wrists? Yeah, finish on there, finish on there. Yeah? Because then you can still use your bottom hand to a certain degree, but it's flowing in and through. Ash? Yes, sir? I'm going to just pop this in your bag, right? Yes, please. And then just zip it up, please. Yep. And I'm making my way to my friends. Okay. I'll probably see you there coming. Uh, I don't think I am. Uh, All right, brother. Wait a bit longer. Yeah, because remember, if you played it, if it goes in the air, you've played it too early. Yeah. Just remember the golden rule, it's a ratio that you can remember for your own independent learning. Bend those knees a bit, beautiful. Nice, wait a bit longer, wait a bit longer, because you've gone again too early. It just shows your reactions are so good, but now you just got to find the shanty. Next one. See that bottom man still trying to take you there? Yes, sir. Uh, good, yeah? Not bad, bit early, and your knees weren't bent. You were playing from up here instead of staying low. Yeah, so you've got to remember stay low and waiting. Stay low and waiting. Stay low and waiting. Yeah, and just a bit early, so you need to wait longer. Yeah, so we'll just do the waiting call. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Next one, next one. Just your hands, got excited. And if it does bounce, play the ball for the garden shot. I want to see if you both got the garden shot. You know, the pull shot. Because that's the, if the ball's short, you've got to pull it. See, I don't mind that, because you still got to find that. I'll show you the, the different ranges of shots at the end of this lesson. So it gives you something to do on the mirror at home. That's not bad there. Shot! See how low you was when you hit it. Then you came up. Yeah, stay low as long as possible and wait as long as possible. Shot. See that? Now you stay more compact here and then you can just control the ball. Really good from you. Shot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good start. Save the camera, mate. Shot. I think you can get lower though. Show me some yoga, babe. Me and you are going to be doing yoga on Sundays. Next one. I like the fact you recognise the good ball there. Next one. Don't just throw your bat. Control it. Control it. 
And don't get too defensive, remember. Better, because you're not a defensive player, you like hitting the ball. That's part of your feedback and fuel for the next shot. So don't hold back, because I don't know if you've seen, some, some people in religion get suppressed and it's not good. Yeah, that just need to stay lower. I like the fact you're looking to hit it. Don't over hit it, we've got to find the middle ground. Don't suppress yourself. Shot, that's lovely and low. That's the lowest you've been today. Yeah, it's the lowest you've been today. Yes! Adam is catching up with you now, with that technicality. That's the leave, that's the leave, that's the STI. Leave that one alone. All the kids are going to be asking in the moment, Dad. What's an STI? <laughs> you better learn quickly, mate. Yeah. It's coming. Shot! Hot. But lower, lower, lower. Boy, that was a shot. Was yeah, shot. I've seen that movement as well. Shot again, by You are now going to be knighted. You know when the king gives you knighthood, yeah. you get on your bloody knee, and we're ready for that, aren't we? And we teach him what batting yoga is. He's saying, Charlie, boy, come here, sir. You want to learn some fucking proper yoga? Charlie, I'll teach you. Shot again. You're ready to meet the king, ain't you? You. He is the king. <laughs> he is the king. <laughs> That's all right. So you've got to recognize the one back of a length because it will come at some point. Bowler's going to adjust their length, not keep feeding you. So it's fine, but stay in that flow. Keep expressing yourself. Yeah, but stay low, head position towards the ball. Don't just think it's going to be an automatic movement. Shot, but get lower, wait longer. Remember what you were doing, don't just run off. Don't think you've done a few and now that's it. You have to go through the process every single time to the end of your career. Yes! Do you understand why you go through the process? Now you reset, that's your meditative point. That's what shalins do, they reset, they refine. Reset, refine. Next one is just a good ball. Recognize the length after time, you will. Okay? Nice, but wait longer. Keep your back straighter. It's not bad. Don't try and premeditate the shot. Shot. That's it. Just play with respect. Every, each and every ball, play it separately. Back to your process. Nice, just a bit early. Lovely bending of the knees. You have learned a lot today. Three to come. Nice, wait longer. See that bounce now? That bounce is your Tai Chi. That's your Tai Chi. You watch Sachin, you watch all of them. Even Steve Smith, they have a bounce. They have a bounce. The bounce is where the batting rhythm comes from. Waited, long, low. Woo. Last one. Yeah, I'll give you one more. Bat on ball. This one might bounce a bit because it's an orange one. There you go, bat on ball. Come on in. 